When you look at a map of our beautiful world, you see green, you see blue, but also brown, where not as many plants grow, like Northern Africa, the American Midwest, and Central Asia. As you probably know, these are deserts, but do you know how they form? Well, today we will explore three types of deserts. These deserts form when a mountain range literally steals the rain from a desert, leaving the one side lush and green and the other side dry and barren. Some rain shadow deserts include the Akatama Desert, one of the world's driest deserts. Also, Death Valley, California is a rain shadow desert. The Tibetan Plateau gets a rain shadow from the Himalayas, and also San Jose, California gets a slight rain shadow effect, leaving it drier than most of the Bay Area. You may have noticed that areas right next to the equator are almost always rainy, but in just north and south it's much drier, leading to deserts. This is because at the equator, hot, humid air rises, and as it cools, it rains. A lot. Then it sinks just north and south as dry air, so it doesn't rain as much. The Sahara and the Kalahari Deserts, both famous for its sand dunes, are boat trade wind deserts. These deserts are the biggest and driest types of deserts. These deserts form simply because of the fact that the air is so cold that it can't hold any moisture. All of Antarctica is a polar desert and also vast swaths of Greenland, northern Canada and Alaska and Siberia are also polar deserts. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and feel free to comment. But that's it for now guys.